We have instrumented feedback through our customer improvement program that comes back to us on a systematic and regular way. Here's a list of just some of the enterprise customers that we have worked with uh, on the development of Windows Vista, Office 2007, and the other products in this wave. Paccar, Hilton, Chevron, uh, Bell Canada, Barnes & Noble, Monte de Pasqui de Siena Bank from 1472, it says, uh, right there on the chart. Semex in Mexico, and the list goes on and on from smaller businesses on up to some of the biggest, most global companies in the world. These companies, like Scripps and others, are now moving into deployment phases in various parts of their company with these core and key technologies. But rather than just have me talk about that, we thought we'd have two of our customers come join me on stage to talk a little bit about how their companies are using Windows Vista and Office 2007. And so joining me will be Michael Wolf, President and COO of MTV Networks, right across the street here, and Chagan Heredepere from uh, Verizon, uh, also here in the greater New York area. So please welcome Michael and Chagan. Thank you. Thank you. Chagan, I see you. appreciate it. Maybe I'll start, if it's okay with you, Michael, and tell me a little bit about the role of innovation at MTV Networks in general. Well, we're a company. We operate networks, MTV, Nickelodeon, Comedy Central. And what the hallmark of the businesses that we operate is about made fresh, just in content. Every day, we're creating new information, new content, new experiences for our consumers. And so we always have to be on the edge. Our consumers are on the edge. They expect the latest from us. And so what we're trying to do by using these products is to ensure our people can collaborate, they can use the best tools to make sure that we, in fact, continue to be on the edge and that we're ahead of our audiences, we're ahead of the curve in terms of what's happening with society, and, with, uh, and, and, and we're able to be able to get those people to work together and create. Well, as the father of three boys from 7 to 14, you're doing a great job, I know, in our house of capturing uh, uh, Mindshare. Uh, how are the new products that we're talking about today helping you support that innovation mission? Well, a couple things. One of them is that, is that our people are addicted to email and the use of Outlook and our ability to use, it, use Outlook and all the features around it as a collaboration tool. But it's a lot of the other sharing. It's the, ability, the fact that, that our people will be able to collaborate when they're creating scripts and that somebody who's in, um, in Mumbai can work with somebody in London and at the same time with somebody in New York and creating a show together that we can then the next day make sure we roll out around the world in a way that nobody else can. And what would you say to other companies that are taking a look at some of these technologies to help them gain competitive advantage? Well, I mean, I can't imagine this is going to be table stakes for anybody who wants to be in our business to be able to have these tools. That's great. That's great. Well, thank you very much. Pleasure. Appreciate that. Uh, I clicked there. Chagan. Chagan and I have known each other for many, many years uh, and have done a lot of work together. Verizon's one of our very largest uh, customers for Microsoft technologies around the globe. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about security efforts at Verizon and how you think maybe some of these new technologies can help. Yeah, first of all, Steve, uh, congratulations on Vista, the great product. Um, in Verizon, uh, we support in IT and deliver products to, to about 200,000 employees. But we also do the same thing for millions of our co consumers on broadband. And as you mentioned, the line between home and office is, 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 is blaring very, very rapidly. So what they want from us is disruption-free, worry-free work. And uh, obviously, you know, we don't want to get in the way of their productivity. But one thing I think people are missing a little bit is with the massive MIPS that Vista is unleashing and with the massive bits that Verizon is delivering through the fiber network, those two things are coming together at the right time to create the perfect high definition storm um, that you know we don't want to get in the front you know in, in, in front of and, and, and disrupt and I think that's going to change the world so um, what we see in your security suite is, is really a, what we have expected which is a quantum jump in your layered security infrastructure uh, that helps really that I mean you have uh, now, we built within the operating system and within the architecture, um, 
is a, a security infrastructure that uh, makes me a lot less worried, and it's going to be a lot less costly to us and to our consumers. You've got things like what we call now UAC, user access control. Um, it's, it's, it's a great tool. Uh, BitLocker, and you know, as, as, as many of you know, encrypting laptops is a slug, right, today. And with BitLocker built in, I know I can, you know, worry a lot less about you no know, laptops being stolen. Um, and uh, your digital rights management. Um, if I want to send you a file, I can and specify only Steve can open it. And by the way, Steve can print it. And the same technologies, by the way, talking about the blurring of the line, our consumers care about. So for example, on digital rights management, we want to be able to transfer media, movies, music, data from the PC to our TV product, Files TV, and vice versa. My DVR recordings from my DVR onto my PC so I can empty out the DVR and, and so forth and so on. So um, um, you've done, as we expected, a great job and really a quantum leap in, in security and privacy for us. Talk, talk to me a little bit about mobility. I visit Verizon. I don't see a lot of people around the headquarters. It feels like, yeah, a lot of people out, out in the world working uh, uh, with customers. Uh, how do these products help you with the mobile workforce? Well, on the mobile side, uh, as you probably know, uh, in Verizon now, we pretty much solely issue laptops to the, to the knowledge workers. We sort of moved away from the desktops for the reasons that, that you just mentioned. And with that, uh, it, it's great. But uh, a couple of things we've got to get right. One is you know, encryption of data on the laptops. We talked about BitLocker. It's, it's, it's a great help to us. But also, when people take their laptops with them, they do work offline, at home, on the, on the road. And then when they come back to work, we want to synchronize that with our file servers sort of seamlessly. And uh, you know, they, they've done a great job of that. And uh, uh, last but certainly not least, when I tell the laptop to go to sleep, it actually now goes to sleep. So congratulations. <laughs> As you look at this blurring of the home and work environments, is there you know, other technologies yeah. you see important to enable that trend? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, you know, uh, what we see is the innovation now is, is sort of the flow of innovation is reversing. It used to be from, from sort of businesses into uh, to consumers, and now innovations are, are flowing back like in the blogs and vlogs and, and mashups and web services and so forth and so on. And for example, I run a video, you know, vlog, a video blog uh, for the IT folks in, in Verizon. And it's been like you know, the best thing in terms of communications with my team. They don't come to see what I write. They come for the videos. Now, the videos today, uh, the multimedia, are, are pretty much narrow band. They're small. Uh, the fidelity isn't that high. With, as I said, with Vista, and with Fios, the fiber optic network, 100 megabits to the homes that Verizon is doing, now we can actually transform that experience into a high definition, consumer oriented, impulse driven experience. So imagine, today if I want to uh, upload a video to your site, to YouTube, whatever, if it's a high definition 10 minute clip, which is typically what people yeah. upload, in today's We're hoping it's less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hope it's less. <laughs> it turns out it's more now, but okay. Uh, 